So we're in Clovis, California. We just finished installing a valve for the homeowner out here. They purchased this off of eBay and it uh, came with the rough end valve, the trim kit, everything. It matches identically the existing valve in the shower behind this bathroom. So this is the hall bath and the tub, toilet, and sink. The other side's got the shower soaking tub and two sinks and a, and a toilet. Uh, anyway, so what we did is we started uh, on the other side, drilled our hole first, big tile hole, tile hole saw, drilled that out. And then of course drilled the hole up top for the shower arm and then blocked and everything here. You got two by six blocking, three inch screws, everything's very secure. Valve is strapped very securely. Hot and cold water lines, you can see the red. This one's blue coming down. And of course the riser going back up to the shower arm. And uh, we kept the demo as low as we could. You know, your shower, like I say, you see that, that black Sharpie line up there, that's center. So we're down as low as we can go. If the mirror doesn't cover everything, uh, we apologize for that. I mean, you'll have to do a little bit of repair up there and get some of that squirty orange peel, the can from Home Depot. You squirt it on and then touch up paint. But, uh, you know, the sheet rock's sitting out in the hallway right here, so it'll go right back in. And then behind the mirror, it doesn't matter. You know, you can you can just tape it, put a little joint compound then up there. If it's above the mirror, then like I say, you'll have to, have to float that in uh, and see how good your skills are at matching uh, wall texture. On the master bath side, this is where we started and uh so that's our valve on the back wall it's their valve over here that's existing and so they uh and that's the box that came in so right off of ebay they found that i mean just uh, that doesn't happen often so anyways uh drilled a hole for the tile there four inch one and three eighth up top got the uh, valve in got the trim installed shower head in so everything's identical you can see from side to side uh, the color, the style, all of it. So that's good. So that's been installed. Um, we did run lots of water down it. We stayed in the attic to make sure nothing's leaking up top. We do ask that you monitor the back side of this wall in the other bathroom. Leave it open as long as you possibly can just to monitor for leaking. Once you close it up, you don't know what happens. I mean, we're pretty good at what we do. However, uh, things can happen. So, if, you know, as long as you can. We like to see it open for a while and then, you know, button your wall back up, get your mirror back up. Anyway, so uh, no leaking that we can see. Um, everything flows good, hot and cold water. The flow rate on here is fair to midland. I mean, it's not great pressure, but it's but it's, but it's enough for a shower. It's, it's identical to what you've got here. So a little bit low pressure. We did tie into a three quarter line up there. Uh, you've got a, a one by three quarter up top. Uh, you have a, a multi-port manifold on the cold side. So it comes in one inch and goes out three quarter inch and then half inch multiple ports to provide water back and forth to these bathrooms on the cold side. And then the hot is in three quarter, out three quarter and multi-port half inch lines stubbing out back and forth to each bathroom for hot fixtures. So what we did is we tied into the three quarter line on the cold, three quarter line on the hot and ran brand new half inch lines down the wall. Everything's brass down here. We used uh, brass Upanor 90, so it's threaded by Upanor expansion fitting, solid brass on both sides. So it just, it screws in and 90s up, screws in 90s up. Bottom, solid brass nipple and cap. And the reason why, if you put galvanized in there, it just, it just corrodes down there. It wouldn't hurt anything, but brass will not corrode. And then of course a brass adapter going up to a brass drop air 90 in the wall. It's just a wing L that's got three mounting holes screwed into a block. And then you mount your arm right there. So. Um, everything here looks good. Outside of that, this installation is done.